Hello friends, welcome back to Eachat Drive with Anzal. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to do a movie review on my channel. Um, to be precise, I'm not going to give a proper review. I'm just going to share my experience about the movie and a comparison about what my expectation was and uh, what my experience is when I watched it on the big screen. I'm going to put this video on my Facebook handle and uh, uh, Instagram handle as well. I have two uh, handles, one is uh, Eat Chat Drive and one is Nayapam Media. I'm going to share those links also in the description. And if you have not yet uh, subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, do share your feedback as comments. So uh, let's go straight to my experience about uh, Brahma Yugam, the age of madness. To start the video, I am going to divide the video into three sections, expectation, experience and my verdict. Let's start with the expectation part. My wait for the movie started when the makers announced uh, the movie, uh, the first look of the movie on the 72nd birthday of Mamoka. The image portrayed uh, him as a powerful landlord or an evil man with a deadly smile on his face. It resembles something similar to a character uh, called as Vidhe Bhaskara Patelar, uh, which he did on Vithayan. And there are widespread rumors that Mamuka is going to do a negative character in this movie. Along with that, Asifili also made a comment that he was supposed to do the role which Arjun Ashogan was supposed Arjun Ashogan is doing on this movie, and he couldn't take up because of his commitments. And he was really surprised when he came to know that Mamuka is portraying the character of Kodaman Poti in this uh, movie. Along with that, Mamuka has always amazed us with the selection of characters and the scripts which he was doing in the past uh, two or three years. And we are eagerly waiting to see what he is going to do next in his upcoming movies. And also, one more factor which added uh, to my expectation was the experience to view this movie in a big screen in complete monochrome or in complete black and white. Brahma Yugam is directed by Rahul Sadashivan and I believe this is his uh, third directorial venture after Red Rain and the critically, much critically acclaimed uh, Bhuda Galam. Uh, following the same path uh, from his old movies, he has added a plot of mystery and they have added fantasy into the actual the story or the in the actual core of the movie. Uh, the script, the story is written by Rahul himself and for the screenplay, he worked along with uh, T.D. Ramakrishnan. Uh, he is a famous novelist from Kerala and is very famous uh, for his novel uh, Sukhanti Anandal Devanayaki, uh, which, which was of course uh, in Malayalam. And the decision, I, I really believe the decision uh, to partner with or to join hands with T.D. Ramakrishnan for the screenplay of this movie and helped has helped wonders because uh, the through the dialogues they were able to establish uh, the power dynamics and the underlying politics uh, politics which which was there uh, during that period the story of the movie happens in the 17th century and it mostly tells about the power dynamics and the and how it was uh, used by the tyrants uh, during that period if you look at the name of the movie brahma yugam Brahmam means uh, obsession and uh, Yugam means era. So that, that is what exactly it tells. The, the tagline of, of the movie also tells it's kind of an age of madness where always it, it is about power. So they want the people who has the power, they want to control others and they by controlling it, uh, they are really enjoying, enjoying the power uh, what they have. So the movie starts with uh, two characters, uh, one played by Arjuna Shogun and another one by Manikanta Najari. They try to escape uh, through the forest to their village and they came into in face to face with a mysterious being or a mysterious power. So when they when they come in face to face with that mysterious power, Arjuna Shogun try to flood, flee, uh, flood the scene and they, he tries to take, he uh, takes refuge in a mansion. Uh, in a mansion where uh, which is owned by the patriarch uh, Kodaman Poti, P 
played by the legend uh, Mamuka himself and also and, and another person who lives there in that mansion is his cook, uh, a character played by uh, Siddharth Bharadan. And what happens in between, uh, what happens in between all three of them forms the rest of the story or from the rest of the movie. <clears throat> The total movie is around 2 hour 15 minutes approximately I believe and um, in order to make you feel gripped to the movie uh, I really really feel I should give a hats off uh, to the director Rahul Sadashivan because he has shown that you don't need too many characters in a movie to make you make the audience feel gripped to the uh, to the story or to the movie actually. Because with this just three characters, he has run the entire two hour or more than two hours of the movie with just these these three characters. And and the scripting was amazing. The story was amazing. The second half was really paced and I was really feeling that, okay, it was just half an hour and the movie got finished. But when I looked at the watch, it is, uh, it's more than an hour. The second half was for more than an hour and it just went like this. There's a lot of twist in the second half. The first half, like, the movie started in a slow pace and in the first half it was just showing the fearness or the mystery behind Kodaman Poti and uh, that mansion that and uh, what happens what is there in the mansion and all but when the second half started there were a lot of twists in the second half which was getting revealed every 15 minutes or so and it, it really make you feel gripped to the movie and we'll, you will always feel okay what is happening next and also the monochrome version the mono since the movie is made completely in monochrome it has helped uh, the director to tell the story and it has helped the audience also to feel that this movie was told in a period in the 17th century and really there are a lot of scenes at the end especially where they could have used lot of vfx and all which he could use it uh, uh, he he could give a much much uh, a feel when you watch it in monochrome so i think that really helped the black and white the decision to make it in black and white has really helped him to make the audience feel glued uh, to the screen and I, we really feel because i never whenever i was watching the movie i never felt i am watching a black and white movie after the first five minutes or so you will feel little okay you feel what is happening here but from then you never feel that you are watching a black and white movie the movie was going like this and for us uh, being being outside india being in denmark here um, the movie has intermission <laughs> but they will not you, you don't get that break in between the movie will just continue uh, intermission they will show is intermission but the movie will continue with the entire 2 hour 15 minutes so we have watched the movie in this entire 2 hour 15 minutes and it was in a single stretch we have completely watched the movie i never feel like okay i should get up and take a break when I was watching the movie. Coming on to the performances part, Arjuna Shodhan was spectacular, spectacular. He was showing different emotions. Mostly he, he, he was having that fear in his mind initially. Uh, once, once when he got a refuge, he was so happy. Then there are a lot of mysteries happens, mystery things happens around him. And he, he was really having, he was showing a lot of emotions, uh, emotions through his eyes and through his face also. And at the end, how it turns into a different, uh, different uh, way. That th those are those are spectacular. He has done a really good job, and perfectly, I can tell this is going to be a career break for him. Actually, the role was supposed to be played by Asif Ali, but he couldn't do it because of other commitments. But definitely, this was very well uh, taken by Arjuna Shogun, and he has done a wonderful job. Another actor which I need to mention is uh, Siddharth Bharadan because um, i've seen him uh, i've seen him in he started acting in movies initially and then he's he turned into uh, turned as a director he has done some spectacular movies as a director then i have seen him showing some kind of very good acting in uh, in uh, spirit where he did a small role and uh, that in that role he has done spectacularly well but after that this is a movie where i am seeing him doing or performing naturally yeah, he has a knack of uh, doing the character uh, naturally actually and I'm, I'm really wanted to see him in many more films in a in a much uh, good roles actually so 
definitely there are a lot of people are going to approach him uh, to do more roles more acting uh, more to give him some very good roles in uh, new movies and then coming to mamuga i don't want to comment anything about mamuga's acting because everyone knows how good he is he doesn't want to know uh, himself as a superstar or a mega star he is he just want to be known as an actor an actor is someone who takes any kind of roles and he's he's ready to experiment at this age also he's he's still not done <laughs> there are a lot to come from him that's what you are seeing from his recent movies rorschach uh, kadal de kor everything was really perfect so i i don't want to comment about his acting when a, when the when the moment the moment when he was shown on the screen we cannot see mamuka on the screen actually the evil and the furious kodman poti is the only person who is visible on the screen there is a lot of mysteries behind that character and all how the character unveils and everything it it was really good and everything the how he controls the inhabitants of the mansion everything was really 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 perfect his smile the way, the way he laughs actually the way he conveys his emotions it was spectacular I I don't want to come uh, comment on that actually. So you should watch this movie in the theaters uh, especially for Mamuka how he has acted it is really he's a he's a really brilliant actor. That apart from those I think I have really really we have to mention about the DOP uh, DOP was done by Shehnaz Jalal uh, there are very few wide, wide frames but all those some were all those were extremely picturesque actually and i really i, I really liked a uh, few shots at the end i don't want to really uh, give a spoiler on that but uh, those are those are really good actually uh it, it was really effective when you when you did it in the monochrome or the black and white part it was it was really effective actually and uh, another person is the art director i think his uh, his name was jyotish shankar jyotish shankar he was really good and uh, he the the way the artwork was done um, it it all created that periodic effect really well actually and the none uh, not the last one <laughs> not the least uh the music see the music every in a movie in a periodic movie or in a horror the movie which is set in a mysterious way or a horror uh, thing if you are telling about a horror or a fantasy music is really important music elevates the movie like anything and christo savior hats off to you man he is has done an extremely good job here he was uh, spectacular uh, with his uh, with the music with the background score and everything is really good i really loved the music especially the blend when he mixed the mamuka's um, uh, laugh along with the music which he has done really it was kind of an age of madness actually everyone was really mad everyone was really mad when they worked on this movie it is amazing i i don't have words to explain how well i enjoyed the movie so coming to the verdict part <laughs> i'm not someone who want who uh, who would like to give a verdict on the movie i'm just sharing my experience and my view and uh, how you should take it uh, the film is a must watch must watch for all the movie enthusiasts or who loves the movie you should watch it on theater because the sound effect uh, the way the the do the cinematography and everything you should enjoy it in the theaters then you will feel okay you will really feel glued to the screen for the entire 2 uh, hour 15 minutes of the movie it was amazing i loved it so basically you should watch it because this is a completely new experience uh, seeing the movie in a black and white it's completely new for the new generation uh um, we have not watched much in black and white in theaters definitely if you want to experience it you should go and watch it in theaters that's one thing second thing acting everyone has done perfect job especially mamuka is a legend arjuna shogun siddharth paradan they did really well it's like you should you should watch them they have done lot of effort uh, in making this movie it was amazing and rahul sadashivan i'm extremely i'm, I'm waiting for uh, for your next movie because the concepts and everything because personally i like uh, movies where there are a lot of uh, mysteries told a lot of uh, stories uh, which is told in the periodic periodic age and all i really love those kind of stories and definitely this was 
uh, my cup of tea <laughs> perfectly this was my cup of tea and i really enjoyed the movie overall it's a really good watch and you should uh, you should try to experience this in theaters uh, definitely this is going to be a big hit big hit in the theaters so i will recommend you to watch it in theaters and uh, do share uh, what you uh, felt uh, after watching this movie what is your opinion about the movie you can uh, put that on the comments thank you thank you so much we will come back with another video next week bye bye